Hey guys, so I'm going to get ready with you today using some products that you haven't seen me use yet. Um, before I went on vacation, I had purchased this Academy of Color High Voltage Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to use that today and I'm going to use some different uh, base products you know because I'm not going to use the exact same thing that I used in yesterday's video because that would be boring but I also have some other things that are off topic that I want to talk to you about while I'm getting ready so so far all I have done is I moisturized my lips with my Chapstick Total Hydration Coconut Lip Balm and I primed my face with MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Coconut because this takes a long time to dry down so I wanted to give it a chance to really settle into my skin so that's what I used as a face primer today and then we're gonna take it from there I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks um, I use two different ones on different parts of my face and I really like these and I've been kind of ignoring them by using the Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation so much but you know this is a little bit more work because they're um, two different shades and you know the way that I have to use them but yeah I wanted to talk to you about some other things while I'm doing this so I'm gonna start with um, I've got the colors F3 and F5 so what I do is I start with F3 and then this is my Morphe buffing brush from the Complexion Goals kit and I like to put the product on the brush rather than draw it on my face I don't know that's just the way that I like to do it does anybody remember last year Sephora sent out um, a flyer or a mailer or like a small catalog and it had the most gorgeous picture on the cover of a model with fall makeup and the whole theme of the catalog was fall makeup and you know they were promoting specific products and everything I've looked everywhere for that. I saved it. I loved it so much and now I can't find it. <laughs> I go through phases where I clean things out and get rid of stuff and then regret it so that might have been what happened. But anyways, I was so inspired by that that I went out and bought the two eyeshadows that they used to do that look and um I feel like I should have gotten the new flyer by now because last year I think I had already bought I hate that when you get like one strand of hair that feels like it just is laying down somewhere in your face there it is um, I feel like last year I had already gotten the catalog by now and I was going to ask somebody at Sephora about it, but I was afraid they wouldn't know what I was talking about or they just wouldn't know. But I feel like we should have gotten that by now. Because I assume, you know, this is, from what I remember, they do this every year. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to all the September magazines coming out because that's when you start to see you know what the makeup and fashion trends are going to be although I've already bought a lot of like transitional clothes already that are gonna transition with my fall pieces that I've already showed you in videos so if anybody has any information about that Sephora catalog or if anybody has gotten theirs let me know because that should be coming any day now and I always look forward to seeing what kind of a look they did and you know just to kind of give you an idea of what the trend is going to be because last year's was beautiful
Okay, I think before I do the other color of foundation stick, I think I'm going to do concealer next. And today I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. So the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is pop culture. Thank God for the library. I went to the library yesterday and I returned the book that I was reading, which was the first book in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Reardon. And I really enjoyed that and I think I'm going to end up reading all his books. I picked up the second book in the series which is The Dark Prophecy which is book number two and um, if you're not familiar with his work he combines mythology, ancient mythology from uh, I think the char the characters from this the this series are is Greek mythology, but he does occasionally mention things from other um, realms. No, that that's not cultures. Cultures. Um, but yeah, it it that doesn't sound like it would be that interesting, but it is. He takes these characters from ancient mythology and puts it in the mod puts them in the modern world and they interact with the modern world and I'm not really making it I'm not selling it very well but it's really really good very interesting and I like it okay now I'm gonna switch over to F5 so anyways I picked up the next book in the series and I should be starting that as soon as I get a chance. <laughs> My F5, when I first got it, I dropped it on the floor when the cover was off. And oh gosh, uh, this one I am going to apply directly to my face because I want to strategically place this. See, so this is a slightly darker color. And then I'm going to buff it. So when I use these Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks, I don't do um, a separate contour or a bronzer or anything like that. I just do the two different shades of this. And so you know, before I said that it was a little bit more work, but not really, because if I'm going to skip contour and bronzer, then I'm not, I would have done these steps anyway, you know? So the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about in regards to pop culture is, uh, does anybody remember when I reviewed the book Ready Player One? I don't know, like six months ago or somewhere around there, eight months ago. Well, the movie came out of the theater and now it's on DVD. And so I got this too at the library yesterday. I had to put in like a request for it. And I watched, we watched the first half of it last night. And we'll watch the other half tonight. And boy, am I glad I read the book. I don't think I would have been able to follow it that well if I hadn't read the book. Ooh, that was, that was a close one. Did you see that? I almost 
itched my face with that brush that had foundation on it, that would not have been a good idea. Although, I guess it, I wouldn't want to do it to, um, I don't contour my nose because my nose is like wicked narrow already. I don't want it to be more narrow. But anyways, yeah, that movie is good. And I don't know that I would recommend it, though, for anybody that hadn't read the book because it would be kind of a little bit hard to follow, I think, if you didn't know, if you weren't familiar with the storyline. Okay, so... So we're not going to use the normal contour and bronzer and all that because this kind of takes the place of it. Oh, wow, I almost forgot to blend out the bottom there. That would have looked crazy. So even though I let that sit, I was still able to blend it out. Okay. I think I'm all set here. This side, maybe just wanna. When it comes to foundation and bronzer and contour and that, you can never over blend it, I feel like. All right, let's go in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder Translucent Extra Coverage and the Morphe Powder Brush from the Complexion Goals set. So I'm just tapping some into the cover. Fluffing up the brush. Now as far as TV shows go, I usually just pick things from Netflix, but because I do not have cable TV and most of the TV that we watch, we just wait for things to come on Netflix. Well, everything isn't on Netflix. Um, there is a TV show that has been popular for years that w was on cable TV. Um, are you familiar with Adult Swim? It's what they show in the middle of the night on the Cartoon Network. It's all like adult animation. And there was a show called Rick and Morty. Some of you maybe already watched this, but because I don't have cable TV, I had never seen it. So what I did was I, I saw a reference to it somewhere and I said, hmm, that looks interesting. And I found some uh, clips, episodes on YouTube, and I watched a little bit of it, and I said, wow, this is really very clever. Uh, it's written in such a way that it's about this mad scientist, and he invents all these things, and he goes on all these crazy wild adventures and takes his grandson with him who is not the not the brightest child but it's really really good so I got season one of the series from the library because I don't have cable and so I got Rick and Morty season one and it's a two CD set. I watched one whole CD of this yesterday and oh my God, is this good? Cause it's funny. The animation is good and it's, it's brilliant in the sense that you have to, you know, you're still thinking about something that Rick, the scientist said, because he, he has all these throwaway lines that he's talking about things and you could miss something very easily if you weren't paying close attention. So it's, it's really good. I feel like maybe um, wouldn't appeal to everybody, but I really, really like it. Because a lot of it is, has got like a science fiction element to it where they're interacting with aliens or they're traveling through space or, but yet it is 
does take place mainly on Earth because he, Rick, lives with Morty's parents. Anyway, it's it's really good. And uh, when I finish this one, I'll definitely have to get the other seasons and watch them. So, powder is on. Now, I already did the contour, so it's kind of like under the powder now. I suppose I could just take that foundation brush and sort of merge the powder with the contour. Just at least for that part of my face. And then that blush that I bought on vacation. Did I use that in a video yet? I don't know. I, I don't think so. The one from Primark. P.S. Blush Cream Stick in Dusty Rose. Whoa! Oh, I've been dropping things lately like crazy. Okay, so I just like to take the foundation brush and put some on there. And buff this right above the contour area. This is the most gorgeous blush color ever. Dusty Rose. I just feel like this would go with pretty much anything for a look. And it blends beautifully. And it was really inexpensive. And I know, I know, most of you don't have Primark, but those of you that do, check out these blush cream sticks. They're really nice. Okay, we're going to go a little crazy with the highlighter today. By the way, beginning back to what I was saying, if any of you watch Rick and Morty, let me know. <laughs> um, I feel like I've really been missing out on that by not having cable TV, but I can't have internet, Netflix, and cable. It's just too much, you know? It'd be... Oh my god, it's like with the just with the cable and the Netflix already, it's like um, you know, close to a hundred dollars. So I can't imagine paying for cable on top of that. All right. Wet and Wild Highlighter brush from the Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon collection. Did you, are you guys finding this collection now? I'm gonna use the water highlighter from that collection. It's blue. <laughs> I I love that they're doing these crazy colors for makeup now. I think it's so much fun. Okay, so let's see. What have we got next? Mac Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. Just gonna put a tiny bit more right on the edges there. These have such a nice quality about them if you have borderline dry skin because it like it goes on like a cream because it is a cream, but then it dries down a little bit, but not completely. So ugh, the eyeshadows just go on so nice over them. All right, let's dig into this Academy of Color High Voltage Eyeshadow Palette. When I saw this, they had other ones to choose from, but this is the one that spoke to me. But when I saw this assortment of colors, this is uh, $15 at Kohl's, by the way. But when I saw this, I said, oh my God, that is the most beautiful assortment of colors. So I decided that today, we're going to use primarily these right here. 
we might also use, or I might also use, don't refer to myself in the third party, I'm not royalty. <laughs> um, I'm going to use primarily these three shades right here. I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. Might use this as a transition and might try to include that somehow because I just because I like it. <laughs> so let's start with my e.l.f. contour brush with that um, that whitish shade. It's well, I guess it's like a, a beige light beige. Uh, it's called Imperial. Just pop that on the brow bone. The inner corner. Now let's go in with this Wet n Wild P15 brush from the Pro line. And yeah, I think I'm going to do the Supernova shadow, which is like a very much a transitional shade. Might as well use it if it's in the palette, right? Instead of going into that matte bronzer like I showed you yesterday. Oh yeah, that's a great transitional shade. Yeah, not every palette comes with something like that, so might as well take advantage of it. Okay. The way you're singing it, it's barely showing up, but in real life, <laughs> or in my lighting, what I see, it's uh, perfect for transition. Okay, let's use my MAC 239 shader brush and go into the shade Ride, which is this gorgeous shade in the corner. And just in case you can't see that too well, it's a light, light, sparkly aqua shade. I'm going to put that on my lids. You know what I think I'm going to do, guys, to save time? Let's just work on one eye, and then I can film the other eye off camera, and it will, you know, cut out some of the redundancy of this. Okay, um, next I'm going to take Celestial, which is this beautiful turquoise shade. And I'm just going to dust off that e.l.f. brush that I use for the brow bone highlight. Because that was such a light color that it's not going to really have any effect on the brush. And just dip into that Celestial. I don't know how pigmented it is, so try not to put a crazy amount on there. I'm just going to go right in the crease. Just the right amount of pigment. Not too pigmented, but not too light either. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit on the outside part of my lid. And let's see. 
I want to use some of this, this heroin here. So let's, it's a heroin with an E on the end, that, that type of heroin, not the other. So I'm going to flip over the 239 brush. Oh wow, it's really dark. And there's a lot of fallout too. So I think I, I want to put some of that on the outside part of the lid. Oh wow. Okay, I'm going to flip the brush back over and then blend that, blend the two shades together like in the middle. And then go over the outside part a little bit. And pull that into the outer part where it meets up with the crease shade. Okay, now I'm going to take an eyeliner, but this is not the right one. That was the brown one from yesterday. We don't want that. We want the black one, which is Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. Okay, now I'm going to take my small Zoeva pencil brush and I wanted to use that bright blue too. Um, it's called Neptune. Hmm, Neptune is a god from mythology and that not that interesting? I was just talking about mythology. Okay, I'm going to drag that along the lower lash line. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to dust off this brush that I used, the Wet n Wild brush that I used for my transition shade. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of this look. just so there's no harsh edges and then it's got like residual transition color on it curl my lashes in order to save some time I'm going to do my mascara and brow off camera and I'll do the other eye obviously and be right back okay so I did that other eye and filled in my brows and I have used this palette before today you guys um I did a look with that rose gold there and um, I combined that with that shade and then I used I used this gold with um, I think that purple so I've used this a number of times now and I really really like it I think that for $15 this is a good deal and Kohl's is an easy place to get to to find it so really happy with that that's my second palette that I bought by this brand all right let's move on to the lips of course, I'm going to use my Color Mates Nude Lip Liner. And today I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not going to fill them in. I really like the way this eye look turned out, though. Really happy with that. And the colors, they, they blend really well together. I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Sensational Shine Lipstick in... 
Undressed Pink. It's number 75. I thought that would pair nicely with this eye look. So that is it, you guys. Hair, I think, is going to stay back today because it's supposed to be in the mid-90s. So just going to leave it back. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. And let me know about any of those pop culture references that I talked about, if you have seen any of that stuff or or read any books by that author, Rick Reardon, or anything like that. Bye.